This is the test of my power jack uh, grid tie inverter. It's a 600 watt grid tie inverter. Well, it's rated at 600 watts. I have four 205 watt uh, solar panels on the roof. Uh, they're two in series, two in parallel. So the nor nominal voltage out of them is uh, anywhere from 30 to 40 volts, depending on the sun, and anywhere from um, you know zero to a maximum of about 24 amps. The uh, this the grid tie inverter, however, though it's rated for it's rated at 600 watts, uh, I wouldn't recommend using it much over 300. First of all, it, w it won't do more than 400. Although it's rated continuous 600, it, it won't put out more than 400, and and at that point the efficiency is pretty low. Right here, it's uh, you'll see the input of the panels is 14.2 um, volts or amps, and about 31 volts, about 440 watts out in, and my out is uh, 360 watts. That's like 84 percent efficiency. Now look at the temperature though. The temperature right now. 107F. This thing, anything above 300 watts out, starts to get real hot. I mean, to the point where you, I wouldn't feel comfortable leaving it um, running if I wasn't here or without a fan. So I have a fan here that I normally run. I just turned it off for this test. Uh, I've seen it as high as 112 degrees, and that's when I turned it, shut it down, and got a got a fan for it. But the point of the video is that yeah, the inverter, these power jack inverters are cheap and they do work. However, whatever wattage rating they state, cut it in half. It's, it's not a 600 watt inverter, it's a 300. I have a 1200 watt unit coming uh, next week and I'll do the same test on that.